Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles, and we are going to do another clutch setup. I believe this is clutch 14. I have to go look, double check that. But I can tell you what the parents are. The parents are definitely a Calico Blitz 100% head SK Xanthic, bred to a pastel Xanthic. So there's a lot of stuff that could be going really, really right in here. Obviously, the creme de la creme would be a Calico Pastel uh, Blitz Xanthic. That would be pretty badass. We'll see if we got it. But let's go ahead and start setting up some babies and see what we have. There's also a chance of normals in here, although all the normals will be 100% head exanthic. So just to make this easier, I'm not going to say head exanthic every time. It's either going to be a visual exanthic or head exanthic because one of the parents was a visual exanthic. So let's go ahead and start with babies. Babies, babies, babies. Let's so adjust shut out. So this first one here, get rid of all that shed skin. Um, this is a blitz. That's what it is. No calico in that thing. Uh, just, just a blitz. But it's a pretty nice blitz. Great patterning. You can see all the wonkiness there. It's pretty heavy babies. These are healthy little boogers. So 63 grams, as you can see. We'll check to see if it's a boy or a girl. A little girl. Stick that one in there. Next one up. Well, this is pastel. Really crazy pattern one. Don't think Blitz is in here. Uh, I'll show you why here in a minute. But this is a really nice pastel. And you get, I have noticed when you have the head exanthic stuff, you tend to get a really nice contrast. It's not so much as the colors are so turned up in pastel, they look like it, but really the black is turned up. So you, as you can see, you just don't see much blushing on these guys either. Uh, you know, they just they just kind of take some of that out. Uh, but the colors are always really nice in these. So 100% head exanthic. Of course, SK line. That goes without saying, right? SK line is the only line. For us, you stay put, buddy. It ain't time for you to go exploring the world just yet. That's a little boy. Little boy. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So then up number third is going to be this one right here. Now, uh, other people have seen this. I think this is probably the prettiest one of the clutch. I disagree, but this thing is awesome. This is a Blitz Pastel, so for comparison purposes, you can see the difference, right? Colors turned up, contrast turned up even more, and the pattern's even crazier. For a straight Blitz, you can just see the color difference a lot. So, definitely what it is. Uh, like I say, when these are good, nice, they leave you no doubt. The head exanthic really makes it nicer in here. Let's take a peek at what are You may have to help me manage these guys, Kurt, and I'll let them run away. That's a little boy. Set that in there. Next up is going to be this little heartbreaker. This was one of the things that came out of this clutch that I really wasn't super excited about. Uh, breeding. As it's been born, man, I actually really like it had more color change than I anticipated and it gives that silver a lot more pop than I thought it would. And what we're looking at here is a visual exanthic calico. You can really see the calico as uh, the tail link. You can look over here. And then all the white in the side. This is a pretty high expression calico. And I think with the sides being a white, that silver is going to stay silver a little more. <laughs> it's going to look really good. Snake, you're being a pain in the butt. Stop it. So anyway, it came out super nice. I really dig it. We'll see how much this one weighs. I'm not weighing all of them, I know, but... They're all going to be close to the same. Good babies, 63 grams, pretty consistent. Uh, and again, this is also post-shed. So this is post-absorption of the yolk, and post, they, you know, they peed, they've done all those things. So this is a, a true good empty weight. Have not been fed yet. And that one is a girl, looks like. All right, now I'm going to show you what I think is the best one of the clutch. We did not hit the Algina. I'll tell you that straight away. But we did hit... Really, something even cooler in some ways. This is a Blitz Xanthic. So there it is, SK Xanthic Blitz. Uh, I do think they've been made with Trick before, but it's probably the first time with the Blitz line. Again, Blitz, Trick, Hurricane, 
all the same, talking different lines, not different genes. I don't care what anybody uh, is trying to guard. That's been genetically tested and proven, so it's the same stuff. Um, but I want to show you something on the snake. This is what makes it even cooler. This is also a, a slight paradox. Uh, there it is. Look at that. So right there you have a nice orange stripe. So you're always going to see how contrasting exanthic is with that orange. So it's really kind of cool. It comes all the way, wraps over the back a little bit. Not really on the other side, just right there. So not a whole lot of paradoxing here, but just enough to make it cool. You know, you don't need a ton. I mean, it'd be cool if this thing was half and half, right? Like a fucking tiger. But that is still pretty awesome. And I wasn't even the first one to notice it. You know, uh, I saw it in the egg a little bit as it was coming out. And I thought it was just albumin on it, kind of giving a little bit of color, you know, little boy. Uh, you guys are being a pain in the butt. You all need to stay in your homes. Uh, but as it came out, it was actually Question Girl that noticed it. And I was just seeing this, and she was seeing this side, and sure enough. So really cool. Blitz, SK Exanthic, Paradox. And I have got snakes running away from me everywhere. Kurt, anything you want to add or any questions? Um, Holy cow, buddy. I can't keep up. Not really. This. So what would have been the all-gene snake? That, I guess the... Uh, you would have had Calico in there, too. In the Blitz, yeah. Yep. And Calico obviously looks a certain way. Uh, okay, usually we keep these out for Patreon. We're not going to today because these guys are running all over. It's like a, a boot race to see who can get out of here. You know what? I got an idea. You guys want to be a pain in my butt? I'll be a pain in your butt. Now try. Now try, you little turd monkeys. So um, that should keep them in there for a bit. All right, any other questions, Kurt? Nope. All right, guys, that is all we got. We're going to put these things up so I can quit chasing them around, and then we'll go over to Patreon and talk about what we're going to do with them.